generating MySQL queries automatically with WP Data Tables table constructor. Uh, as we mentioned previously, MySQL and MySQL queries is the most effective way to use WP Data Tables because it's the quickest and it allows to use server-side processing so that large tables would be stored and managed totally by MySQL server, not by uh, Excel file or CSV file. But the problem here is that not all of WordPress users know much about MySQL. Uh, not every one of you knows how to, how to write SQL queries, even if you do have the MySQL database. So what we tried to do in the new version of our plugin is to help such users and to create a very flexible but simple tool which would be user-friendly and which would allow to generate these SQL queries uh, based on graphical input. Uh, I would like to mention first is that it's still not perfect and that not any query that you can think of can be uh, automatically generated using this tool. We work on improving it, but uh, it's not perfect now. Though it already helps and uh, already covers the needs for many users uh, and many queries that some users wouldn't be able to write, uh, they can generate them using this option of WP Data Tables constructor. So let's see how it works. <clears throat> First, you would need uh, to go to your WordPress admin dashboard and open WP Data Tables, WP Data Table Constructor. Here you can see four options. So now we are talking about the fourth option. Uh, I want to construct a table based on data from existing MySQL database tables. Just a couple of words about the WP Data Table Constructor. It's a part of WP Data Tables plugin, which is basically a table creation wizard. It's a step-by-step -step graphical interface, which is uh, made to help users that are not so tech savvy, uh, that, are, that do not know much about, uh, do not want maybe to know much about uh, some complicated things like organizing MySQL tables, writing queries, or preparing data and an input source. So you can use this table creation wizard to input the data of the table manually or import it from an Excel or CSV file, or as in our case, uh, to generate a MySQL query and construct a table based on this query that is generated automatically. So we choose the fourth option and click next. And then here you can see a list of the tables. Uh, this list is fetched from the database that was configured uh, to be used for the WP Data Tables uh, main connection. By default, if you don't configure it, uh, it's using the same database as your WordPress installation, but you can always go to settings and change this and connect to remote DB or to a separate DB, whatever you want. In this example, we are going to use a sample MySQL DB, which you can download from their, from their site, from mysql.com. It's called the World Database. So either MySAM version or InnoDB version. And there's also a link on our site to this page. This database has uh, three tables that we are going to use. The city table which has ID, name, country code, district and population, then country table, which has a lot of columns, and then country language table. So basically it has a base of countries, then a base of cities, and also a base of languages. And uh, even if a country has many languages, they are linked here. So we are going to show how the table uh, constructor generates query based on the graphical input. So you see these tables are already here. Also, along with the other tables that uh, that are uh, pre-existing here, that are bundled with the WordPress. 
So we are going to choose these three tables. So this section is a list of tables and we need to choose one or more tables that we will use in our query. Then we need to choose the columns of these tables that we would like to have in the table. Uh, the list is generated also automatically based on what you've chosen here. And here you can see that column names are separated from table names with a dot. So for example, everything that starts with the city, these are columns of the CD table, city.id, city.name, etc. Um, actually, let's first not complicate it too much and have just two tables, country and country language. This will be easier maybe to understand. So let's choose the country codes, country name, then maybe surface area, population, and then let's say country language. So we, what we'll like to do here is to show some information about countries that we've chosen here and also uh, the language that is spoken in this country. Then we need to define the relations between tables. So when we choose two different tables, when we need to query data from two different tables, we also need to explain the table constructor how these tables are related. Basically to define the joining rules. Um, I will not explain much on how joining works. Uh, there is quite a lot of uh, documentation about this, but uh, basically it is a rule on how the tables are related. For example, uh, we have this column which is called country.code and also we have the same column here in country language. So country language dot country code. And we know that uh, this column is used to link to tables. So the country code from the country table is equal to country code from country language. So then we know that this language is spoken in this country. And we can define it here. So country.code is equal to country language dot country code. And that's it. Just one more thing that we might need to define here. We only want to show the uh, official languages. So we also can choose this rule here. So once again, this section is used for, uh, for describing relations between tables for defining joining rules and this section here is used for defining additional conditions that will go to the where uh, clause of the generated sql statement so here we need to choose that country language dot is official is equal to t which is true so we will only fetch the official languages additionally we can define grouping rules uh, which we will not need here probably, but just to show you how it works, we might group by one or more columns that we uh, chosen in the in this input here. So, if, uh, for example, for example, if we wouldn't choose only the official languages, some countries, for example, USA, have several languages in the table, like. Uh, English, Spanish, etc. And then uh, this country would be returned multiple times. So it would say that have a row for USA with English language, then have a row for USA with the Spanish language, then maybe for Chinese or other languages. And to avoid this, we could add the grouping rule by the country code or country name. Then only one row for each country would be returned and the values for uh, other columns could be also concatenated so they would be comma separated or something like that so let's click uh, let's click next and here it is so this is the generated query it selects country code name surface area population uh, again country code and language we didn't need to actually fetch the country code twice but uh, added here by mistake so it's it's not a big deal and uh, you can say that uh, you can see that it returned the values just for Angola for some reason 
didn't return it correctly probably something on the back end for the country code or maybe there is no official language in this country most probably so let's uh, uh, before I create the WP data table, just a couple of words about this page here. So basically this is a preview of the generated query, but also this is an SQL editor where you can edit the query. For example, you want to change the joining rules and show only the unofficial languages. You see, for example, now it returns several rows for uh, every country because in many countries there are many languages also it shows only unofficial languages you can change it back and refresh again so here you have the SQL editor here you have the refresh button and here you have the preview of the first several rows uh, first five rows of the return result so when you're satisfied with the preview you can click on create WP data table and it will uh, save the query and create a new MySQL query based WP data table. You can later edit this query again here, but now it already predefined pre, pre, uh, pre the columns, created the table. So let's say MySQL query generator demo and say here, uh, define here more readable names. So probably we can hide one country code that we don't need and say that population surface area also define it as integer just in case surface area population all integers language is a string save once again and now we just need to insert this table in a post or page for this we can copy this short code and paste it in a page or even easier we can go to our post or page or different post type and create here generated my SQL query demo and say here is our auto generated table and then we can find the insert the WP data table button here and find the table that we just created mysql query generator demo click ok and it inserts the short code automatically we don't even need to remember it to copy paste it etc okay i've published the page now we just need to go to front end and see how it looks so it takes a little bit to load because there is a almost 300 entries returned now Okay, now it's loaded so you can also define filtering you can later uh, make this table editable we have separate uh, tutorials on editable tables and basically you get a fully functional uh, WP data table same as any other WP data table you can define responsiveness change the order of columns etc so that's it. Uh, we have uh, more information in the text version of this uh, tutorial. There we have all the different uh, types input covered in deeper detail. Uh, in this video tutorial, I just wanted to show you how it works to give you the idea. And you can play around with it to achieve the results. Uh, also, we try to always uh, look through the feedback of our clients to improve so if you have some idea how can we improve this uh, query generator tool feel free to share it with us using our support system or any different way okay thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorials wp data tables the easiest way to render interactive editable tables on your wordpress site Purchase WP Data Tables exclusively on Code Canyon.